you're about to see rare color footage that's never been seen before. Washington's Tacoma Narrows Bridge was to be the pride of the Northwest. During construction in the late 1930s, optimism prevailed. Finally, the cities of Tacoma and Gig Harbor would be linked by a slender, mile-long ribbon that cost six and a half million dollars. It opened, finally, on July 1st of 1940. But almost immediately, people noticed the bridge was more like a roller coaster than a thoroughfare. Thrill seekers flocked to take rides on the bridge, while the cautious went miles out of their way to avoid what came to be known as Galloping Gertie. The plans for the Tacoma Narrows Bridge caused no alarm. Half a century later, engineers are still analyzing what went wrong. What happened is one of the wires that was staying the bridge and preventing it from moving too far broke. And then it started oscillating in torsion, and this it led to further breakup and uh, failure of the bridge. November 7th, 1940. The day Galloping Gertie collapsed, a 42 mile an hour wind buffeted the bridge. Several cars were caught on the main span, unable to drive further along the swaying roadway. Leonard Cooksworth, a newspaper reporter covering the sensational story of the Bucking Bridge, walked nervously away from the scene. He abandoned his car, leaving his pet dog, Tubby, behind. The wild oscillations proved untenable, and the suspended roadway finally collapsed. Porter escaped, but his car and dog plunged into the water. His pet died, along with the sterling reputation that briefly belonged to the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. The Wizards of Science who investigated the collapse exonerated the designer, stating that his plans were in accordance with the bridge building principles of the time. Only in hindsight did engineers realize that in the future, they'd have to compensate for the power of the wind. Fifty years before Galloping Gertie, the city of New York was witness to perhaps the most spectacular bridge-building feat of the 19th century. It was a masterpiece that would come to epitomize New York itself. Elegant, expensive, expensive, 